Not carcinomas um, you may not have seen before, but it's actually a more common cancer than you think. We estimate that there's around 1,400 cases per year in the United States alone. And this is based on some recent research that was published uh, and presented at AMP, the pathology conference in Utah, where we looked at the CARES database and CARES, a, a company here in the States, uh, sequences tumors looking at DNA, RNA, and IHC. And we estimate that based on a back of the envelope calculation, looking at the incidence of head and neck and lung cancers, as well as the rate of nut carcinoma mutations found in the CARES database, that it is actually more common. It's around 1,400 cases in the U.S. per year. And so really most academic oncologists should be seeing about a case per year or a case every other year. There's three main reasons we think it's underdiagnosed. One being that it is a fusion oncogene, so you really need to identify the fusion, and that's much easier on RNA-based sequencing when you don't have to account for the long reads that you would need for DNA because of having so many breakpoints. Number two is that this is a relatively new diagnosis. It's been iteratively characterized by Christopher French and others over the past two decades, and so we don't know as much about this cancer. And then I think the third reason is because there's no defined histology. The most common presentation is a lung, non-small cell lung cancer, but it can also be head and neck or other organs. We have actually removed the term midline from the name. So if you look at the fifth edition of the WHO guidelines for thoracic tumors, it is now simply called nut carcinoma, and that's just to avoid diagnostic bias. So I think in general, anyone who is young with a poorly differentiated or squamous cell cancer of the lung or head and neck, a doctor really should be thinking about nut carcinoma and work with their pathologist to do the testing. You don't have to do RNA-based sequencing with Keras. You can do um, nut IHC at your institution or a nut fish test at your institution. If your institution does not have either of these tests, it's also reasonable to reach out to another institution that has validated uh, either nut IHC or FISH. For example, in the States, we have a validated test within our institution, as well as validated tests at Mayo Clinic, and I'm sure multiple other academic labs have as well. So I would encourage you to uh, reach out to your pathologist. The reason we really need to be identifying these cases more often is we have uh, within our institutions alone, five clinical trials trying to improve upon the standard of care, which is squamous cell-based uh, uh, therapies. And so first step is recognition and, and diagnosis.